We'll be covering the three scale patterns for the key of C and A flat as well as the chromatic C scale. I will demonstrate how these scales are used to make music and adornos for conjunto norteño. Here are the and chord the changes music. for the key of C as outlined on the chord pattern sheet. So primera is do. So first note of the scale. We're going to begin with scale pattern one for the key of C. Now every note is played in the out position and the pattern is the same for 31 and 34 button accordion. Here it is in half speed. For the key of C, every note will be in the out position, now in half speed. Here's scale pattern 3 for the key of C. Uh, every note except 1 is in the out position, and the scale pattern is the same for 31 and 34 button accordions. Uh, this one, the finger positioning is further apart on several of the notes, so I'm going to play this one slower uh, twice so you can get a good visual of it. One more time, uh, slower. I'm going to give you a quick example of why learning the three different scale patterns uh, is beneficial uh, when you're doing a song. And you have a, you start with this note and you slur it to here. Then in. Back out. key of A flat. Uh, first I'll demonstrate primera, segunda, and tercera. Uh, primera for la bemol is the chord of A flat. <clears throat> I'm going to play it here in the three notes. move on to scale pattern one for A flat. Every note begins right it. here with A flat. Scale pattern two for A flat. Every note except two are played in the out position. Now we're going to play scale pattern three for A flat, which is sexta. I'm going to introduce you guys to the chromatic, chromatic C, C scale, scale played from the bottom up. Uh, you may not recognize it when it's played like that. But um, you'll probably recognize this better. song in the key of C titled Before Say the Song PSLR. Down. I wanted to show the screenshot of the of the of the song the insert that I've uh, gonna provide you guys in regular speed. Now in half speed. Now the first adorno um, <clears throat> is very similar uh, to the one that we just played. It goes like this. The second adorno is in segunda and it goes like this. Then on the preparación you begin with the adorno that's in primera but uh, you bridge it over to go into tercera and it goes like this. See, uh, that I have the G chord referenced F and C. Now to end it, we simply play the melody again and a variation of the adorno uh, that we play at the beginning and in the middle of the song. Next up is a polka titled El Sube y Baja in the key of C. This is an advanced polka. Now for benefits of you learning the song faster and to benefit me to, to show you how to play it, I'm going to break it down into three main parts. Now part two begins like this. Part three starts in the 
out position uh, with the bellows out with a triplet in once you're ready to end it play the entire first part twice then play the second part I'm gonna play the second part in progress and I'll show you how to up it. and jump to a song in A flat uh, titled Una Lágrima y un Recuerdo just like in my other example, uh, I've included a sheet on this song with the uh, with the song uh, yeah, type out. switch accordion, and you want to uh, make it sound a little bit more like the like the original cadetes. You can kick the switch in, and it could it can do it. I prefer to play in the full uh, main switch, even though I do have the three switches, but it will give it more of a, a more of a cadete sound. <laughs> In half speed beginning with the bellows out we're gonna do a triplet now just to make it easier for the both of us I'm gonna do a couple of adornos that they use for primera you can use you can interchange them however you would prefer to play are a little bit easier remember that we're gonna go adorno in sec in, in segunda and then in segunda so again the song so you can actually after the singer uh, finishes the last uh, the last verses the ending goes like this. The next song that we're going to do is Carta Jugada uh, in the key of A flat uh, in the style of Los Relampagos. I'm going to play the introduction in regular speed and then I'll break it down. Here's the intro uh, in half speed. You need to be able to do the bellow shake. Uh, in order to be able to play it the way that I played it. If you don't know how to do that yet, the concept behind that is real simple. The chord or the, the notes that you want to play need to be played out. Alright, I'm going to play the adornos for you in order. Uh, you see the, the number one uh, at the beginning of the song, the first adorno is simple. This uh, DVD with a section dedicated to the basics of transposing a song. Uh, that is to change a song from one key to another from one tono to a different the, uh, tono. introduction to Flor de Capomo uh, that I have on my FA DVD. It starts like this. But if you break it down, this is an F chord. It's the first note of FA. It can also be played here. Now we learned the A flat a scale song, uh, El Carretonero, that also is in Fa, but that one begins in third. So if I do the intro to that one, So if, as you can see, if you do the regular scale, it begins on so first, second, third. I'm gonna do another example for you. Uh, this time, las tres ramitas. Uh, if you play it in fa, you can start it here. Now that song also started on the third note of Fa. So if we take what we know of the scale of La Bemol, the song's gonna start here. You can also use these notes. Another example, this time Los Tequileros, we're gonna go from Fa to La bemol. Now let's see what Seis Pies Abajo would sound if we change it from the key of C which we played earlier to the key of E flat. So starting on E flat, Mi bemol, here's how it would look. <clears throat> now 
not bad but uh, if you used it in in sextas the same key of E flat here's how it would sound the last example if we take the song El Carrito and switch it from La bemol to C bemol uh, here's how it would look first in La bemol If we switch that to B flat, we would need to start right here. Hey, thank you again for ordering my accordion DVDs. It's been a pleasure to share my knowledge with you. If you have any questions, be sure to send me a message via eBay, JGCIRO10, or you can email me directly at JGCIRO at Comcast.net. If you have any questions regarding any portion of my instructional DVDs, um, I, I plan to put a couple more together for you here in the near future, so be sure to save me as a seller. And again, uh, thanks for your interest.